you know, I remember one of the guys said to me one day, are you making a cup of tea? And I was like, that's male privilege right there. <laughs> and he's never asked me since. He, he's the one who gets up and says, I'll go and make a cup of tea. But yeah, you, you have to push back. You have to be the lone voice. Um, mm. Because otherwise things don't change, you know. My name is Liz Keeble. I am the Chief Operating Officer of the Omnia Foundation, which is an independent special secondary school for boys with ASD and social, emotional and mental health issues. As a teacher, I've always been um, really passionate about inclusion because I, I can see how students feeling marginalised can impact on their life chances. And as a teacher you have a great responsibility to make sure that everybody feels valued, that everybody feels included, that everybody has something to offer. Because if you don't, those children may go forward with compromised self-esteem, little belief in themselves, um, when actually I could have done something to really inspire them um, and get them motivated. Yeah, we talked about this on the panel this morning, and I think... Um, I have felt marginalised for lots of different reasons, but I think predominantly because I'm a woman um, and predominantly because I'm a woman who is driven. And I think um, men in the workplace see that as being kind of part man. I think, actually, why have I got to be part man? You're stereotyping that just because I'm in touch with kind of more logical assertive parts of my personality doesn't necessarily make me masculine I'm just a driven woman um, and it's hard at times you know when you take over when I went into my first headship um, having been deputy at the school for five years um, I was paid £25,000 less than my predecessor when I took over that role um, and I had expected to see a drop because it was my first headship. He had been in post for quite a long time. But to me, that was a massive gap. And I really did feel resentful about that. But I think over time, when you, the more you think about it, the more irritating those kinds of things become. So eventually, I think, you, you know, in the workplace now, I, I just think I've got to be me. I can only be me. I hold my own. I push back gently, sometimes more gently than others, sometimes a little bit more firmly and with a little bit of sarcasm here and there. Um, because not everybody's aware of when those biases come in, even in the office when it comes down to making a cup of tea. You know, I remember one of the guys said to me one day, are you making a cup of tea? And I was like, that's male privilege right there. <laughs> and he's never asked me since. He, he's the one who gets up and says, I'll go and make a cup of tea. But yeah, you, you have to push back. You have to be the lone voice um, mm. because otherwise things don't change, you know. Well, I think it happens all the time and I'm guilty of it myself, you know. That's the thing. We're in a, in a, in a society where there, where there is so nuanced um, and we are only really just beginning as a society to understand that everybody's different and we've, we've got to... We've got to look at the things that we've got in common rather than the things that separate us. Um, but I think it's about keeping yourself in check. It's about recognising that the language that we use around these things changes. Um, we've got to keep up to speed with those things. We can't bury our heads in the stamp because it's constantly changing. And we may say things inadvertently every now and again that offend or upset, not with any intention or any malice um, but while you're learning you're going to make mistakes you know we're all going back to kindergarten in that regard you know we're all starting from the beginning again because even if you are a white middle class woman with a very privileged background there are still other sectors of society that will make me feel marginalised in the same way that I can make other people feel marginalised completely unintentionally. We've got to be aware, you know, we've just got to be aware. I think it's, to me, it's a non-negotiable. 
because I, th I mean, I never see when I t when people talk to me about esports, I never see esports as being a male-dominated environment because I I know the gang here and I know that that there's probably no workforce that is more diverse that promotes diversity more than this. So I always find that really strange because they actually you're doing a really good job because you are up there and it's really empowering. You know, it does empower women. It empowers everybody. It empowers... It, the, the messages that are given by um, summits like this and conferences like this, it's not just applicable to women. That's the thing. It applies across the board. That's why it's powerful. Um, and I think everybody should be doing it. You know, every. I think, you know, it's been said earlier today, every employer, every corporation, every big business needs... They need to step up, you know, they, they need to step up and they need to make these talking points the centre of conversation because otherwise things are not going to change. It's been really interesting because when I arrived, I realised that I was one of the oldest and that actually the vast majority of people taking part are young whippersnappers. Um, but I think that's all kudos to the team that have put it together because they've really carefully thought about who's coming in, whose opinions they're going to be garnering, how those people are going to interact. And it's been a phenomenal day behind the scenes, you know, watching all the other panels and watching the keynotes um, has been fascinating and just gives rise to so many different conversations. It's not just about what you see on screen that you take away. It's what happens behind the conversations that you're having with, you know, with Dell Technologies about how they recruit because we're in that situation. Getting men into teaching is really difficult. So are there things that they're doing, recruiting women and, and people from a diverse background that we could take on board in teaching? Everybody can share their experience. So things like this are absolutely fabulous for them.